with the Fury getting some fan support from the Durham Dragons in this one. Nice to see them in attendance in game number three. Luke Pearson is going to thwart an early opportunity here for the Dukes by stabbing out the leg. Almost immediately the other way, Derek McVeigh gets a shot through Logan Bateman. Whitby is on the board, 7.32 into this game, and McVeigh, he is not done. A minute and a half into the second period, Noah Bull finds McVeigh, quick release, and that's going to double the lead to a pair, and McVeigh is not done. we got a theme in this one. Hawking could be a cruel game. Zach Nelson off the iron. That would have made it 2-1. to one. Same shift. Ian McKinnon up the wing to Noah Dolo, the would-be goal scorer. Nelson in pursuit. Instead of 2-1, to one, it's now a 3-0 hockey game. Wellington power play. Quinn Hanna looking to set the one-timer, but Ryan Smith extending to take away the threat. End of the sequence. Noah Bull without a glove, still seeking a shot block, but Pearson's going to snag this one through traffic. And Hannah has the puck jump over his stick. Jacob DiDinelli pounces, leaves Joe Roy in his wake, and McVeigh will rip a shot past Bateman for the hat trick goal. It's all going Whitby's way, 4 0. And Kyle Renault will take over for the Dukes the rest of the way. DiDinelli, who did much of the heavy lifting on the Fury's fourth goal, gets one of his own on the power play with McVeigh causing traffic. It's all one sided here in the middle period. Wellington pushes back with a late going goal, scramble out front, Brett Humberstone will find the back of the net to give the Dukes a lifeline and at least some hope for some third period drama. Hope is short lived though, Nick Papadopoulos banks a shot off the skate, grabs the rebound and he is going to score from a tough angle to make it 6-1 to one for the Fury. Five goal cushion and Noah Bull is still blocking shots, Zach Ewins unloads with one, oh, and another one, Bull takes it. Oh, I'd be crying for a week after that. That is some tough stuff. The Fury skate off with a 6-1 to one win and a 2-1 to one series lead after a dominant performance that featured Derek McVeigh's first hat trick in, oh, a little while. Yeah, first first time I had a hat trick since I was about 10 years old, but I mean, it's it's all great work from Noah Bull and Jacob Didianelli just they're workhorses, and I was just lucky enough to benefit from, from their hard work tonight. So I think our team's commitment to defense is, is the best in the league. We got so many guys that block shots, sacrifice their body, get the puck out, and you know that's where all the offense starts from. Getting the puck out over our own end quickly, we have more time with the puck, we have more opportunities to score. So it all starts with that shot blocking from guys like Noah, um, Jelly, and, uh, and Benny blocking shots big time. They're huge for us. Uh, I think in our end, we're blocking a ton of shots. That's really helping us out. And once we do that and they can't get the opportunities they're getting down themselves and we can come back on that. Yeah, I think it's just a great experience to be here. I'm loving every minute of it here and uh, just kind of got to be tough on them. Not a too fancy game, but just ride them hard.